rich and smooth and creamy and downright decadent. This is one of the most amazing cheesecakes you'll ever make and there's absolutely no baking. Let's make a chocolate orange cheesecake on the One Pot Chef. First, let's make our cookie base for our cheesecake. I've got 200 grams of plain sweet cookies, which I've just crushed in a food processor and transferred into a bowl. To that, I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder and about 80 grams of butter, which I've just melted. And just mix that together until it looks a bit like wet sand. Lovely. Transfer the crumb mixture into a springform tin that's been lightly greased. I'm using a 23 centimeter springform tin. And just use the base of a flat bottom glass to press down the crumbs so they're nice and compact. And we can place this in the fridge to chill for about 20 minutes. Next, let's make our cream cheese mixture. First, I've got 750 grams of Philadelphia style cream cheese. That's about three packets. And to that, I'm gonna add in 250 grams of sour cream. The sour cream helps to make this mixture lovely and velvety smooth, but it also adds a little bit of extra richness to it. And just beat the cream cheese and sour cream together until it's nice and smooth. Next, we're adding in the juice of one orange and the grated zest of two oranges. This already smells fantastic. All right, beat all that together. Perfect. Now we can just set this aside while we start working on melting our chocolate. I've got 350 grams of milk chocolate here. This is just regular eating chocolate. If you wanted to use a semi-sweet dark chocolate to make it a bit more intense, feel free. And I've just put the chocolate into a heat proof bowl suspended over a pan of barely simmering water over low heat. And we're just going to allow this to slowly melt until it's nice and smooth. Once our chocolate's melted, we can start integrating the cream cheese mixture. So we're going to start with a dollop of that cream cheese mixture. And we're just going to slowly mix it into the chocolate. Add in another dollop and mix that in. And just keep repeating the process until the entire mixture is integrated and it's nice and smooth and consistent. Last but not least, I'm just sifting in half a cup of icing sugar, that's powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. Now, I say half a cup, it all comes down to personal taste. Just mix in a small amount and give it a taste and if you want it to be a bit sweeter, add a bit more. That's looking absolutely gorgeous. Pour the chocolate mixture onto the cookie base and just smooth out the surface with the back of a spoon. And our chocolate orange cheesecake can go into the fridge to set for about four hours or until it's firmed up. And here is our completed no-bake chocolate orange cheesecake. Absolutely gorgeous. You can decorate it however you like. You could put some cream or some fruit on top, drizzle it with a little bit of chocolate, whatever you like. Personally, I just like it as is. And here is the finished result, a beautiful slice of our chocolate orange cheesecake, and it is looking absolutely amazing. I'm not holding back any longer. I'm going to have a nice big spoonful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's glorious. <laughs> mm. Oh no, a bit still on my spoon. <laughs> It's rich and it's smooth. That creaminess is just incredible. The chocolate, beautiful and sweet. And then you've got the counterpoint from the orange, which makes it so incredibly zesty and fresh and beautiful citrus flavor just exploding in your mouth. And that beautiful crust on the bottom, best cheesecake ever. You are going to love this. Give it a go, trust me, you won't regret it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. I should probably have something a little bit more substantial for lunch, but you know what? It's got orange in it. Orange is a fruit. Fruit is healthy. Therefore, cheesecake is healthy. <laughs>